Hello and welcome to the virtual party guide. In this video, I will be sharing with you how you can add virtual backgrounds as well as filters on Zoom to enhance your party experience. Now, before I begin, I would like to mention that it's very important that you have the latest version of Zoom on your computer. If you don't have the latest version of Zoom, you might see that some of the features I'm talking about are not available. Now, how to check that you have the latest version of Zoom? Firstly, go to your Zoom client, like so, and click on the icon that shows your profile picture and click check for updates. If you have an update available, it will tell you and you will then have the option to download it right there and then. Now that that's out of the way, let's get on to the tutorial. At the bottom panel of your Zoom screen, you will see a couple of clickable icons. Go to the one that says stop video, but don't click on the camera button itself. Click on the little arrow next to it. It will then show you a few options from which select choose virtual background. It will then open a window that allows you to choose a virtual background or add some. Now, depending on the device that you're using, it might be that a green screen or a solid color video background is required. In my case, it is required. So at the bottom here, you will see um, something that says, I have a green screen, which you can pick or unpick. If I unpick this, it will just show my plain background, which in this case is a green screen because my computer does not have the specifications that allow it to use a virtual background without a green screen. So I have to have this pick, but it's actually not necessary to have an actual green screen. All you need is a solid color background, which can be any color, white, blue, black, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I will pick this and now I can select among the many options that I currently have. But if you are just starting, you might only see these few options to begin with. And earlier I was using this one with the little doge behind me. Now how you can add a new image is by clicking this little plus button on the side and click add image. This will then take you to your computer files from which you can select an image file, um, a JPEG or a PNG file for the most part, which you can then select to be your virtual background. And once you've added some images, you will see them listed here and you can simply change by clicking on the one you want. Now you can also change the color that you want the computer to detect as your background color. So right now here it shows that uh, it detects my green screen color as the background color. But if I click on this, I can now select a color on basically myself or my background to be the background color. If I click on this green screen of mine, it will then detect it as the background. But if I click on myself, for example, I become the background. And likewise, if I choose my dress, it becomes the background. So you can play around and choose how you want to do this. Um, ideally, your background color should be something that contrasts with you so you don't blend in with your background. But that could also lead to some very interesting visual experiences.
now aside from images you can actually also have video virtual backgrounds now i can't demonstrate this because my computer does not allow me to use video backgrounds you need a uh, certain kinds of processors in order to be able to use video virtual backgrounds and unfortunately my computer doesn't have that but if you do you can then use the same plus button and it should show you the option to add video and you can then select an mp4 or mov file to be your video virtual background and you'll have a moving background behind you which can be really cool depending on what you're using it for so that's it for virtual backgrounds next is filters here you can see that there is a tab for virtual backgrounds and a tab for video filters if you click on video filters it will show you a bunch of things that you can choose from that will be then added to you um, as it detects your face so right now i already have glasses but i can add on glasses on top of my glasses because the glasses you're currently seeing is a filter from a different software i will cover this in a separate video tutorial that is specifically for that software which is called snap camera but for the purpose of this tutorial i will just be covering the zoom video filters which you can see right here and um, so as you can see i can have a snap camera filter and add on zoom filters on top of that so it can be quite fun so feel free to explore and see which ones you feel like using for the day you can change it very easily as and when you like and on top of the filters you also have what is called studio effects now the studio effects is a little bit like putting makeup but it's a digital version so for the purpose of this particular part of the tutorial i will change to a snap camera filter that allows you to see more of my face like so so now here you can select an eyebrow a facial hair and a lip color to enhance how you look on zoom so for example if i select this eyebrow you'll see that suddenly I have new eyebrows. It's a little bit thick, so I will reduce the opacity a little bit. And I can also change the color to a more brown tone, more subtle, or I can also choose a random color, let's say pink. Now I have pink eyebrows, which can be pretty fun. Same goes with the mustache and beard. I can give myself some facial hair and also give it a color if I want. And now I have pink eyebrows as well as pink mustache and beard. And again, same goes with the lip color. And you can uh, select pink once again, or you can select some strange color, uh, purple, blue, whichever one you like. <laughs> and you can select to apply this to all future meetings this means that you don't have to keep adding it every single time you join a new zoom call but that means you might turn up like this to a, a business meeting without realizing <laughs> i hope that this session has been informative and fun for you and that you'll be able to use this information to enhance your virtual party experience. I'll see you in one of these parties.